I was literally about to say, oh my gosh, look, this matches my nails. And yet, I'm just an idiot because that's the whole point of this video. All right, you guys, I got some bad news. The intro song got copyrighted. I know I'm so sorry if you wanted to twerk right now. My apologies. We'll get it fixed. We'll get a new one. What's, what's up? All right, enjoy the video. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Okay, so today... We're going to be doing a look based off of my nails that I have on currently. I've been wanting to do this video for like the past three sets that I've gotten. I've gotten all nothing but colorful nails and I've been wanting to film a video doing this, but like I messed them up within like a week of getting them done. So I'm like, all right, well, I got to wait for the next set. Then I got to wait for the next set. And this time I'm like, I got them done a couple days ago. We're not waiting. Unfortunately, I had a pretty bad like allergy attack or like allergic reaction or I don't know what you want to call it during this video so my eye makeup is a little bit messed up and I didn't really get it 100% spot on of what I wanted but this is essentially the look that I was going for besides that because I have some water teardrops on the sides and I'm looking real funky. But anyways you guys if you want to see how to get this look then go ahead and keep on watching. So some people like this close up some people don't. I think the close up is great because it gives you a full view of my eyes and what happens when I get too far back is you guys tell me that you can't see what I'm doing. I think we good, okay. I'm super, super excited about this. Ding. Anastasia just came through with the secrets. Like nobody knew that this was coming out and it was like, hey guys, new eyeshadow primer, what's good? And I haven't used this palette at all yet. So we got like the fresh, if you guys think this is satisfying. Oh, that's a light base right there, whoa. That's like a flashback Mary moment right there. Wow, that's a light ass base. Okay. This is the palette right here that I'm mainly gonna be using. This is the new AVH Alyssa Edwards palette, their collabo. Oh, that's good. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Texas Made, which is the very bright pink shade. I don't think it's necessarily a match for my nails exactly, but I'll make it work, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with Brick Road. That brush was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Wow, okay. I don't know why I'm doing this when I have like this nice little mirror that they sent over with it, so. Let's use this. She cute. I was literally about to say, oh my gosh, look, this matches my nails. And yet, I'm just an idiot because that's the whole point of this video. It has gems on it. Where did you get that? From Anastasia Beverly Hills. You sent it to me. Why? So I'm a cool girl. I'm not cool. <laughs> You're very cool. I feel like this side looks brighter. Why? This side's like purpley. This side's like bright pink. What happened there? Kind of debating on if this purple's too dark, but I think that's kind of like what I have right now on my nails. Yes, no, maybe so. We're doing it. I just realized that I just did like a basic <laughs> sunset blend. Oh, oh, well. I think the windows open just a little too much. Man, like, I'm looking pasty, hold up. This Texas Made shade is actually bomb. I think that, plus the fact that Megan Thee Stallion's from Texas, 
will make me forgive you guys for somebody from your state hacking my account that one time from Texas. So maybe I'll forgive you guys, okay? Maybe I'll forgive you guys. I think we're gonna cut this. I think we're I think we're good. I think we're ready. Let's find out if this base right here has the juice to cut this crease. Gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick off camera and I'll be right back. I don't even remember what the transition was. Honestly, I've been doing this for so long. I don't even remember what I did for the transition. I think it was like this, maybe some of this. Okay, so moving on to the blues, I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I've been calling this the Take Me to Brazil palette since I've used it, which has clearly been a long ass time judging by the wear and tear of this palette. You guys always ask me about this palette, like how do I make it so pigmented or questions like that, which makes me assume that you guys like, have had issues with it. But look at that. Oh, I wasn't even in, no, no. I was trying to make a point and I wasn't even in focus. I was trying to make a point. I wasn't even in focus the whole time. That sucks. Okay, so I literally just packed this on one time. And look, I actually really, really like it. I think it's really versatile and affordable. And this has nothing to do with it because I've been talking about this palette for a long ass time. But I do have a code now, code ASH on BH Cosmetics. So if you guys want to pick this up or some other good things, come through. I think this ABH base is actually really good. It's a little crusty though. Like it dries down real dry. And you need to make sure that when you put it on, you blend it out real good right around here. Because if you just put like a straight line, then when you go to put your concealer on, it's going to have a straight line. Like it's gonna leave like chunky nasties right here. What's funny is my nails actually match really, really well with this BH Cosmetics palette and yet the shades don't really go with my nails. So I'm still going to use this shade right here, which is Haze. It's like a lime green, it matches really well with the palette. Got a little neon action going here, ooh. Going in again with that brick road shade, that yellow, that's gonna be our inner corner. I kind of live for a yellow inner corner. It sucks because it's so hard to pull like this pink right here. I think it ended up being a, like way too dark. Damn it. Mm. So what we're gonna do is to make up for the fact that that sucks, I'm gonna use this pink shade right here. Like we really be freestyling. I had no plan when I started this. I just knew I wanted to match with my nails. So. We're gonna fix this up real quick, but first I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup off camera. That way that's all said and done. And then we'll come back and finish up the look. <sighs> okay, so I went ahead and did my face makeup real quick and I was like, okay I was just patching up around my eye a little bit and I started having like Allergies an allergic reaction, which is not uncommon for very pigmented eyeshadows It is common for you to have watery eyes if you have sensitive eyes like I do That sucks ass because it leaves me with these nasty ass little water spots on the side of my eyes and it really messes up my blend that purple shade, as soon as I put it right here, I just went ahead and tried to pack it on a little bit and man, my eyes started watering so bad. At least that's what I think it is because as soon as I put that purple shade on, it was donezo. Nothing on the shadows themselves, that's not the only palette that does that to me. I have a lot of palettes that do that. It's just because of, you know, the pigment that is in the eyeshadow. I'm gonna cover it up with some mascara and call it a day. 
and this is the Kush mascara. I don't know why I keep saying like that. Kush. Um, it's the Kush mascara. I love this mascara so much from Milk Cosmetics. The smart thing to do would just be to continue to pack eyeshadows over top of these disgusting wet marks. Really smart. Okay, so I'm gonna use these middle lashes here. These are Showstopper from Leslie Lashes. Yes, I actually know what lashes I'm wearing today. I know you guys know I'm infamous for not knowing what lashes I'm wearing. And you guys get really pissed off at me. I'm sorry, I'm a mess. I'm gonna miss that golden hour if I do not hurry. Damn, I better hurry up. The last thing I wanna do right now is put eyelashes on over top of my eyes while they're irritated. Who has to get ice from the ice maker right now? I'm telling you guys, having sensitive eyes is not the business. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna put my lashes on off camera really quick. If I can get them on, and then I'll be right back. Sorry. Ah, I'm still having allergies. It's literally been like an hour. I went and I finished my makeup really quick, and I went outside to go take pictures, and my allergies got even worse. So my like my nose was running, and my eyes were watering down my face. But you know what? This is the reality sometimes of doing YouTube and of, of doing makeup in general. So I'm gonna keep it in here. I'm gonna keep it really real. Like you can fake it on Instagram because you got the little face tune to like deep, 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 deep. But on YouTube, you just gotta keep it real. The look's gonna look how it looks. Still, this is the look that I was going for and without the allergies, it would have been real poppin'. So you guys can still recreate it and it'll be very cute. It was kind of a flop, kind of a fail, but I'm not gonna redo it because I don't redo anything. We just, we do the one chance. And that's it. Let me know down below what videos you guys want to see. Hopefully my eyes get themselves together after this because I'm literally going to go and wash this off right now and uh, recoup. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye.